What's up everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to go over how to add the buy button sales channel to your Shopify store. Overall, it's a very easy process to set up and what it does is it allows you to add your Shopify products or collections to certain blogs, to different websites and it does so by creating an HTML button which then brings it back to the Shopify website allowing those new customers to add products to their cart. This channel can be great to set up because it allows you to distribute your products in a different manner from customers clicking a link. They can add those products to your cart directly. I'm going to show you in this video step by step how you can set up the buy button sales channel along with creating a buy button for my test blog post. Before we get into it, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy-to-read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. To set up your Shopify Buy button, all you have to do is log into your Shopify Store homepage, and on the left menu here, you want to click this little plus icon next to the Sales Channel. Clicking that will open up the Sales Channel tab, and from there, you want to click the Buy button icon here. I'm going to click the plus icon here, and it's going to bring us to the buy button creation page. Once that's loaded, you just want to click on buy button. From buy button, I'm going to select products, but you can select collections as well. Choosing between these two options will allow you to select where the buy button leads the customer to. So I'm just going to click product buy button because I'm going to show one product and it's going to be my t-shirt product here. And I'm going to add it to the blog right after this. So I'm going to add my t-shirt here by clicking the checkbox, then next. Once that's loaded, you get a preview of how the buy button will look. You can customize the colors as well as how the image will look. Here, I'm going to just select classic. There's also the basic, which simplifies the view a little bit. I'm going to keep classic because it's going to show the product image as well. From there, I'm going to go direct to checkout because the customer may want to go directly to checkout as this is just one product. From there, I'm going to change the button style. I am going to smooth out the corners a little bit, increase the width, and I'm going to leave the background color the same. Overall, there's quite a few options in terms of creating this layout. It gives you things like the font, the center, the product title, price, the call to action, and the image size. I'm going to leave those the same here to speed this video up. There's also other options here for advanced settings where you can open the pop-up in a new window or redirect in the same tab. Since this is just on my website, I'm going to leave it to redirect the same tab. If the option is switched to add product to cart as well, there are more options here in terms of how you display your cart, the background, and different information you want to display. Overall, I'm going to leave all these as the defaults. I'm just going to click next to save this section. So once you get your button created with the styles you want to match your Shopify store or to match the website you're putting this buy button on, you just want to click on copy code. It's also important to note that once you customize this button, you can't go back and customize it again without creating a new HTML code, which you will then want to copy and repaste in. This can be important if you're pasting this button on a different website that's not your own. You want to make sure that you do a good job of, of customizing the button the first time. This way you don't have to go back and resend them another piece of HTML. My button looks good here, so I'm gonna click on copy code. So once that's copied, you wanna go to wherever you're gonna paste this HTML code to and paste that button code. For me, I'm gonna go to my test blog post. So I'm gonna go back to my Shopify store. I'm gonna go to online store, blog posts, and I'm gonna open up the corresponding blog post here. To paste your buy button in your blog post, you just wanna click on the show HTML button once that loads, you just want to paste your buy button in here and you want to click save. Now to view this, I'm just going to click on the view button in the top right. And once that loads, there's the buy button. And when I click this buy button, it's going to take me directly to the cart as I set that up in the buy button settings. Overall, that's how you add the buy button sales channel to your Shopify store. This gives you amazing optionality in terms of where you want to include your products for sale, whether that's on another website, something like lead pages, or on your own blog post, because you want to link directly to your products. If you like this video, I'd love if you smash that like button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.